to the video. Progress. Just saying. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I think what he what he was saying is you have to select it. That's what my question was. Just go ahead and share it so we can see what your screen looks like. Sorry, everybody. Stand by. It's okay. We're still waiting for. Please stand by. Please stand by. We're still waiting for people to come on. So. <gasps> Hello. Yeah. Test, testing, testing. Okay. So yeah. it is focusing on your screen. Yes, now. it's focused on that. Okay. So then unscreen share. <laughs> testing, testing. There we go. Okay. We'll okay. give it a few minutes. Let people, hello, hello. Let people come on in. What an audience. <laughs> yeah, we have a good turnout. <gasps> this is exciting. Some in live, mm -hmm. in person live audience, live studio audience. We expect clapping, <laughs> laughing and clapping. Yes, you are our soundtrack. <laughs> and you need to laugh loud enough so that the, these mics pick it up. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Just laugh. <laughs> oh, this is a nice, this is a lot nicer quality than what I had for Zoom for games. <laughs> yeah. Just sitting on the floor. <laughs> oh, goodness, goodness. Okay. How is everybody? You doing good? How's everyone's day? I love a good thumbs up. Heck yeah. Mm. Oh, we're recording, right? Yes, we are recording. You want to get started? We'll give it another minute. We can get started. Okay. Why not? Yes, please. Nope, Frederick's on the run. Okay, we What's are happening? mid bite. He's turning All off the, the white noise. noise. One okay. moment, please. Thank you, Frederick. Thank you, Frederick. Oh, wow. Right. I feel so much louder now. And our music. Oh, he's got it. There we go. All right. I can't hear you better, actually. Can you? Right. Oh, thank God. Okay. Share that screen. Well, yeah, you got to hit the present button. Cool. All right. Okay. Okay. Well, hello, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining us. What? What are you? <laughs> Okay, well, thank you for joining. Uh, we have a lot of exciting stuff to talk about today. Um, and if you have any questions, just type in the chat box and Alberto will stop me. And so we can answer questions that way, if that works for everyone. Yes. Alberto, you have so many tabs open. It's the new topic of conversation. Okay. <laughs> so if you want to go to the next slide. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so these are some photos of what the space currently looks like. Super exciting. Um, Jeff took these, what, a week ago now? So Yeah, we've been just about every week going over there to take a look and making some decisions and taking pictures. Yep. Yeah, even got to pick out some paint color. So we're going to get a really fancy white, which we're just super excited for. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yes. <laughs> there are that, that's, that's the tough part we're gonna go to sherwin williams and really pick out the specific white that we are looking for um but yeah so this is the space so far they got the framing for the walls up and we're gonna have the exposed ceiling which is gonna be super exciting so kind of keep the vibe of what it looks like in here um but super excited to move forward and we will be sharing more pictures on social media and the blog and everything to keep everyone posted yeah, so the cool part about this building is uh, the, the building we're moving into was built in the 30s. So it's a nice uh, concrete Art Deco building. And uh, it originally had the floor that we're moving into had drop ceilings, which really brought the ceiling down quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Just made it feel very much like an office. We had them remove that 
and it just uh, it's it's a cool kind of raw concrete ceiling look so you know we wanted to try to do um what we could to you know the, the space that we're in is, is cool it's unique it's it's got the tall ceilings it's it's kind of a you know a factory feel in a way but you know we wanted to make sure that what we're doing now in the new space is not you know sterile office boring you know we, we wanted to make it cool and kind of that raw feeling as well so it, it, it worked out really well because that 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 concrete ceiling looks great it's in good condition um, we, we originally talked about painting it, but we said, you know what, let's just keep it as it is. Um, and there's some cool old, like, um, so the building used to have like these adding machines that were powered by uh, compressed air. So there's these uh, like compressed air lines, you know, that were still there. So we're trying to, you know, retain as much as we can in terms of the, the old look to it um, and the, the sort of the raw look to it. But of course, you know, we're building it out with the, the floors and the walls, everything are going to be very modern, uh, but it's still going to be a cool kind of mixed look. Yeah. Well, perfect. We're excited. Very excited. Next slide. Okay. So this is the final floor plan and I will be sharing this on Slack and also I can send it out in the email. Um, so you can look at it in more specifics, but this is what it is going to look like. So there are six offices, three small conference rooms, one large conference room. Um, and then we're having three built-in video booths and our two room booths so we're just adding super exciting um <laughs> alberta's choking over here alberta's just choking uh, one moment coffee. <laughs> just a cough attack um but yeah so we're gonna have two main sections of co-working so it's gonna be a bigger space but still open enough where it all feels open and inviting um and the kitchen is going to be the center of the space which i really like because i think it's really going to pull everyone together especially during lunchtime in the middle of the day so if you want to go to the next slide oh, hold on a couple comments. Oh. um so so the the kitchen um you know we our current space we have the the island there right now and and a large table and it's kind of a gathering meeting space and we wanted to retain that feel uh so we got a a, a tall table that i fit i think fits 10 it fits 12. 12 people oh, yeah. So it's, so it's a high top yeah. table that is pretty big uh, and it's a, it's, we want to retain that gathering space feel to it. Uh, we have tall, you know, high top chairs that go with it. So um, it's kind of a hybrid of what we have now, the, the large table versus the island. So we're going to have both of those. Um, the kitchen space is larger and um, we definitely will retain our awesome coffee machine. Oh, yes. um, but we also are looking at, you know, having other options. We have the Keurig now, you know, maybe uh, like a tea, Tea kettle and uh, maybe uh, we're kind of rolling around the idea of a nice like espresso maker or something like that. So we just want to have lots of options um, to make it, you know, one stop shop for everything you want to hang out at the factory. Couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All and right. Now we can do next. the next one because it'll keep the layout still. Okay, so going into a little bit more in specifics of the offices. So these are the six offices. Um, I've laid out the um, pricing and the square footage for both of them. And those are all per month. So we are keeping the month to month um, feature just like we do for our memberships because that is a big thing for us. So we wanna keep it that way. Um, and we are also, um, open to having members sign longer term leases rather than month to month if that is something financially that just works better for you. Um, and then we also could potentially slide parking in. It depends on you know the situation, but come talk to us. We're really open about it. Um, we love to give our members first priority um, to have these offices rather than putting them out to the open first. So let us know and then we will keep you up to date on you know, when we are going to push them to the public, um, but these are going to be furnished as well. So you won't have to worry about that, which is really great. Yeah. So uh, like she said, we're, we're, you know, we try to put this at, at market rate. Uh, we looked at what other people are offering for private offices uh, and we, we tried to get close to that and maybe a little bit below that. Um, we want to make these offices attractive, but as she said, we're flexible. Uh, if, if anybody, you know, our, our goal, cause we, we talk to folks at other places and, and oftentimes they want you to sign a, a year contract and we don't want to lock people into that. So, um, we wanted to make it flexible. 
but also, you know, we are, we are open to being flexible ourselves. So if people want to sign a long-term contract, we're maybe open to, like you said, maybe throwing in parking, maybe uh, doing a discount. So, you know, we're, we're we want to, we want to fill these, we want to be flexible. We want to figure this out. This is the first time we've offered offices. So uh, we're, we're kind of learning as we go as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So the question is, would it be um, the president rate on top of the office? Is that what you're yeah, saying? No. So basically an office rental would be the same as a residential membership. So you would get, we'd have to work that out, but you'd get probably, you know, maybe two or three cards uh, for the, cause some of the offices are big enough to fit two or three people. So uh, it would not be an additional resident fee, so to speak on top of the office cost. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, yes. It's the, the next level highest yeah. membership is now the office. Yes. And um, in terms of memberships, we aren't um, raising prices at all. Um, So just keep that in mind. And also um, for anybody that knows any of their friends that could be potentially interested in the factory, we are running a deal right now for resident memberships. So it's $275 per month when you first, when you sign up this month. So if you know anybody who's potentially interested, send them our way. But yeah. So you can go to the next slide. Can you guys talk a little more about the different memberships, like bathrooms? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we'll go, let's go into a little more description on the space then. So for the bathrooms, the biggest thing is that we are now having a bathroom that's with a shower is a big thing, but also all these bathrooms are separated. So it's not like a men's room and a women's room there. There's four of them, correct? Yeah. So there's four bathrooms. They're all going to have the lock that shows if it's um, vacant or occupied. So you never have to have that awkward, like knocking, hoping that you're not going to run in on somebody. So that will be there. Um, And then, yeah, the one with the shower, we have to go into more specifics and figure out exactly how the, if there's going to be a schedule for that, if you have to sign up, what we're going to necessarily include. Um, but more information will be coming on that specifically. Um, in terms of the video call rooms, they're still going to be the same where you don't have, they're kind of first come first serve. Um, and we are going to have, they're not going to necessarily be the high top as we have now. Um, we're going to have two of them that are going to have, you know, just a normal desk with a chair. And then the other one is going to be more soft furniture, um, with a table in there. So kind of gives you the different feel. You can kind of pick and choose, but there will be five of them. So it'll be nicer to have one extra. Um, we do have the podcast room and we're actually going to have it on the same floor, which is super nice. Now that we won't have to go down to the third floor, you can kind of have access and it'll be easier to, you know, have that be really an extra space for video calls and everything. Or, you know, if anybody's new year's resolution is to start a podcast, we have the space. So let us know. Um, any other additions? Just from a technical standpoint, I'm working right now with the it uh, vendors and we'll have a dedicated, uh, fiber, um, circuit, I guess you'd say. Um, and they are going to put, I think four or five wireless access points. So right now we only have two. I don't think it is really a problem, but we just wanted to make sure that, you know, we get full coverage. It's, it is a concrete building, so it's a little bit different than this building. Um, so we'll have plenty of Wi-Fi. We will have plug-in options. Uh, we've, we've gotten that request a few times for people that need to rent an office, but they need to plug into the network. Uh, so that will be installed in all the conference rooms and all the offices. So if you need to plug in and have, uh, you know, a non-Wi-Fi connection, that will definitely be an option. Uh, we will also have, um, just like we have here, a, a sound, uh, what, oh, I guess, white noise uh, system. Uh, and the cool part about it is, is right now it's just on or off and it's loud or not, you know, so 
Um, we're going to have a lot more control. We're going to be able to adjust the volume. We, we have zones, so we could turn it really high up in, in the, the restrooms, for instance, <laughs> or, uh, you know, <laughs> um, turn it down in the conference room if someone's doing a presentation, you know, so we have a, a lot more flexibility uh, in terms of that system, which is cool. And instead of having just speakers in the middle, the, the white noise system will also double as the ambient music system that we have. So, and again, that will be multiple channels. So, you know, if you're in an office, you don't have to listen to uh music if you don't want to um and if you're out in the in the space you know we'll still have sort of the the nice um you know chill music that we we like to play um yeah i think that i think that pretty much covers and we will have uh, so we are getting a storage space in the basement as well mm -hmm. uh and so we are looking at maybe making that available for bike storage uh just like that's why we put the shower in for those who want to bike in um, so we will have storage in the basement. We're looking at maybe doing lockers, uh, so you can lock your stuff up if, you know, if you want to leave it here instead of taking everything home, um, and maybe putting file cabinets or something in the, in the storage room. So it's a pretty big storage room and, um, there'll be a lot of, you know, options there. So we still have yet to figure that out. And we have a bunch of stuff I'm sure we're going to want to keep and keep in the storage as well. So, um, that'll be another uh, addition for folks. Offices yes. are going to be lockable. That is a great question. Yes. Yes. Heck yeah. Right. Okay. Next, please. Okay. So a great um, new thing that we are also getting with this space is parking options. So I know that that is a very big thing especially for anyone that really comes on a tour is, you know, we, our downtown location is great and all, but parking can kind of be difficult. So we are actually, our building is going to be attached to the Monroe Center ramp. Um, so we will be getting a block of spots there and that will be uh, 150 a month to, you know, secure your own spot. And then we will also be getting a block of spots at the Ottawa Fulton ramp. So that ramp is across the street. Um, and that will be 140 a month. So to get more information on that, just contact me or pretty much anybody, Frederick, Jeff, Alberto, chat with us, and we'll be able to give you all the information for that one. But very excited. So you won't really have to do street parking. Yeah, I mean, street, street parking will still be available, available for those who want it. Yes. Uh, and that's on a, I think, Menor Center is on a main bus line. Mm -hmm. So um, the transit options as well. Uh, and the, this parking monthly cost is, is our cost. So we're not raising that price at all. That's simply what we would pay mm -hmm. and then just pass the cost on. Yep. Um, and we do have the transit form. So we'll be updating th that for our move to update the bus lines and everything and walking distance. So we'll send that out as well. Yeah, so the question is, is there a, a set number of uh, spaces available or is there a block? So the landlord has a big block. It's like, I think 50, uh, and they're just making it available to anybody in the building. So there should be no problem getting a space. Yep, yep. I mean, everybody loves to go to parking spot. Um, for guests, for clients, it's a good thing. Yes. Right. Yeah, that's one of the cool benefits of this location is that Monroe Center Ramp has one hour free for, for guests or clients. Uh, so that's a nice benefit that we don't have here. Yeah, and we will still continue to buy um, validation tickets. So if you guys do want to purchase them for clients, um, I will still have them up at um, the desk with me. Okay, next. Okay, so I wanna preface this first. These dates, sadly, like they aren't fully set in stone. Um, the second they are, I will be blasting out emails and Slack messages to make sure that everyone is on the same page. But for now, this is what we're going off of. Um, so our potential um, dates that will be closed will be February 25th through the 28th. Um, that will be for moving all of our furniture and also us preparing ourselves for the, for the new space and getting all moved in. Um, so we really appreciate your cooperation in advance um, with all that. I know, you know, it's not the most convenient thing, but we're hoping since we've given you enough in advance, it will all work out. Um, and then we're hoping, hoping, 
opening. I didn't know that was a word. Hoping um, to have the potential opening date be March 1st. So just starting off the new month in a new space. And we're really, really excited for it. Yeah, we're we're um, kind of pushing the, the, the construction manager right now. He asked if we could have some more time and we're kind of like, no. Uh, so he just emailed me back a few minutes ago, said, we'll make it work. So I'm going to reply to him and say, I need absolute confirmation because we, we're, we're going to let work. everybody know. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, you know, our, our goal is March 1st right now. Um, and yeah, definitely a couple of days to move, but I'm pretty excited. I think, I think it'll be March 1st. So. Yeah. So mark your calendars. Mark your calendar. Yep. Yeah. We do need to get out of this toxic relationship. <laughs> okay, so a big important note, especially for our resident members, but anybody who has a mailbox here, um, you need to fill out a change of address slip for um, USPS. We do have a large stack of them up at the desk by me. Um, and there's also a sheet there that has our next address available so if everyone can fill those out um i can make sure even to put them on every residence desk if that is something that could be helpful um just as a reminder but um we would assume that getting these done by mid-february would be best um, just so that there is a little bit of time in between our move and filling them out and getting them submitted and everything um, but if you have any questions with that let me know and i will do my best to assist yeah, the trouble there is the post office doesn't let you do commercial change of address online. Uh, so you have to do the form, which is a little bit crazy. But um, so I went down there the other day and the lady said I could take a pile of them. So I took a pile of them. So they're sitting here. If anybody wants to fill one out or let us know and we can fill it out for mm -hmm. you. Um, it takes a couple of weeks for that to take effect. So we recommend, as it says here, that you fill that out by the middle of February. And you can make it effective on March 1st. And, and as soon as we have that final date, we'll let everybody know, but yeah. you can put the effective date on that form. Um, and there is one thing, these um, change of address slips are only good for a year. Um, so we will make a note to get these slips again and make um, an announcement again um, next January and February to make sure that it we don't have like an overlap of issues. So we will we will stay on top of it to help y'all stay on top of it. Beautiful. We have question. a question. Uh, I think for March, what we'll probably do is just uh, keep a copy of our key and sneak in here and check the mailbox for a little bit. I will do some sneaking, sneak yeah. into the basement. I kind of doubt they're gonna fill this space between now and then, so. Uh, we should be fine doing that. Yeah. If they do, I'll just make friends with the tenant. Yes. Consider, considering the landlord just, just hit me up and said, hey, do you guys want to renew? <laughs> I don't think they have any plans. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. So in terms of moving, change of address, anything, do we have any questions? If not, that is totally okay. We'll have time for questions at the end. Do we see any in the chat box? Nope. Okay. We're good to go to the next thing. So drum roll, our blog is live. So this is a big thank you to Frederick. Um, he has done a large amount of work to um, bring the blog back and, you know, update it from 2014 when it was last used. So we do have two articles currently up there and we are going to be posting them as often as we can. Um, if you have any, you know, stories, you know, memories or anything that you think that would be great for us to post on a blog, you know, let me and Frederick know, and we'd love to make that happen. Um, so if you want to check it out, the link is right there. It's blog.workthefactory.com. Uh, check it out. Super exciting stuff. Yeah, and if anybody has any old photos, you know, we have a limited number of photos from the history of this place. Um, if anybody has any. Um, yeah, that kind of goes into our oh, next thing. Sorry. Look at that. Right. I'm, I'm stepping on you. Just getting ahead of myself. Okay. Um, yeah. But yeah, so <laughs> in terms of keeping, um, you know, this place alive in our hearts, I'd love to make either a coffee table book or something to keep the memories of this space. Um, so if you have any, you know, photos from potlucks or just any photos of the space in general, I would love if you could email them to me um, and I will be, you know, creating that book or memorabilia of some sort um, as soon as I can, which would be a great little addition to the space. 
in one little memory I just uh, found out about, I asked Frederick, there's a, um, I don't know what you call it, the uh, crochet thing. It's not crochet, but it's the. Oh, the thing out. Out in the hallway. Out in the hallway, yeah. It has the bucket with the leak in it. Um, I asked what that means. And uh, it was, I guess, historically, there was a bucket up in the rafters uh, because the, the roof was leaking. And so the, all they did was put a bucket up there. <laughs> <laughs> and so someone made that, I don't even know who, made that little uh Leanna, Leanna it? made it. I think it's. I think it's Leanna. Yeah. Leanna, that's, that's okay. Awesome well, we will be taking story. it to the news base. Yeah, we'll, that will we'll be, be hung up. Uh, it, also, we are. You know, we have this mural here uh, in the the learning center that obviously we can't take with us, but we are bringing a photographer in to take a nice, you know, high resolution, mm -hmm. well lit photo of it, so we can make a print and and bring that with us to the news space. And we'll integrate that. Yeah, McKen. Shout yeah. out to Mackenzie. Yeah, yeah Carly, Carly designed it and then um, a bunch of us, you know, tried to paint it overnight without, you know, letting anybody know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we want to, you know, we want to retain that. There, there's some, there's a really cool history in this space and we want to make sure that that continues. Oh, 100%. Yeah. So, yeah, just email me any photos that you have, even if it's videos, maybe we could, you know, create a little compilation just to make everyone laugh. Who knows? But yeah next okay so this kind of goes along with that but we would like to have a move out party again we want to celebrate the space we've been here for a very long time have great memories in it and we'd love to end it um with a nice shebang so we're unsure on dates i'm going to be putting polls in slack just so i can you know plan it around when everyone else is available because I'm always here. So I'm always available. Um, but that will be most likely the first or second week in February. Um, we're hoping to have it after hours, but we're, we could always be open to doing something during lunch again, if that is something that, you know, fits best with everyone's schedules, but it will be a BYOB and I will be providing all of the snacks. So please come. So I don't have to eat all the snacks alone. Um, yeah. So yeah, more to come on that one. Okay, questions, comments, concerns, anything. Have you been Everest. begun thinking about um, arrangement of the non-walled space of the common yes. area? Yep, yep, we have that laid out actually. Um, our furniture company, Right Size, helped us with that. And so we do have a lay, it's gonna be very similar in terms of the resident desks that we have right now. So if you're a resident, you'll be yeah, if, if Alberto can pull it up. Um, mm -hmm. It's not exactly right. The last one they sent us, there were a couple tweaks, but it'll give you an idea of what we've planned. So basically, if you're a resident, you'll you'll get a window again. Um, and then we'll have a, a little different hot desks for the non-residents. That'll be a little nicer. Um, they'll have plug-ins. Um, and there will be a high top option as well for yes. the hot desking. So we're going to bring that back as well. Yep. Uh, so yes. Yep. Yep. We yeah, residents will still have the same desks. We'll save the same chairs. You know, they're all in nice, nice condition. Mm -hmm. uh, we're just trying to share it right now. What's that? <laughs> right. You're definitely getting the same desk. I will make a note. This is Mike's desk. <laughs> oh, <laughs> definitely not your fault. We actually made a big point about that. Yeah. yeah. So there's talk about things dropping off the ceiling and, and hitting desks. And that was one of the things we specifically asked the new landlord, will the, will the ceiling come apart? And they assured us, no, it's, it's, it's 80 years old and it's in good condition still. So. Oh Lord. Yeah. A little bit of a liability there. <laughs> and so here's, here's the sort of proposed layout. It's not quite right. And it definitely, I mean, when you look at this, you think, wow, that's really cramped. It's, it's, it's weird how when you're in the space, it doesn't feel like this at all. Um, so uh, yeah, basically residents will have the windows. Um, it will be kind of on the periphery. Uh, the uh, hot desking spaces will be more on the interior and they'll be spread out. So one of the comments that we received is, you know, we don't want to sort of, you know, segregate the residents into one area and as residents in another, you know, we want everybody to be spread out and intermingling. So that was a consideration we took and we, we definitely want to ensure that that is the case. 
the, the common folk. That, is not what I that was Mike, everyone. I won't repeat the question. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the kitchen's for, for commingling. Yeah, and we actually, if you look around. It, so he's he's pointing at a table um, right now. That's that's. Oh, I now I, I can you. see it. Yep. Yes. The I one right you. next to the large conference room. So that will be a, a tall, hot, uh, high top hot desk. Mm -hmm. um, so it'll be easily movable. So uh, he's he's saying that the. Um, the conference room, they're actually not sliding doors anymore. We, we changed that, but remember they're swinging open. Oh yes, they are swinging. Um, so the conference room will have double doors, kind of like the learning center now that swing open into the space and it, ma it makes it a little bit more open. So you can kind of spill out into the space if you want. The high top um, non-resident desk that will be there is movable, just like we are now. Like we wanted it to be flexible where we can move stuff around. Uh, you'll notice around the kitchen area there, there's a, a, a really nice couch that we ordered, some lounge chairs, um, you know, so it's another additional sort of loungy space to hang out in. Uh, in the entryway, you can see where the elevator shafts are. There are more lounge chairs. There's a reception desk. Um, we're, we're probably going to put another couch there. There's kind of mm -hmm. a nook there. Um, so we want to have as much, you know, like casual space as possible as well. So, um, you know, this, this new space is, I think, about 1,500 square feet more than we currently have. Uh, and it's like the same amount of money every month. So it's like a kind of a win-win for us in all ways. So, uh, we, you know, we just wanted to make it similar to we have now, flexible and open. And, uh, you know, you, you pick the space that you're comfortable in and that's cool. Yeah. And any other questions? Did you discuss how residents pick their desks? Ooh, how will residents pick their desks? So what i so here's so here's the thing here's what so derek no oh god <laughs> derek asked about um picking of desks for residents so our first thing most likely is getting rdg in because they are a group of nine desks mike i know you're so relieved um <laughs> He's, Once we fit them, we're going to get, we're most likely going to have everybody that already has a window spot. They're going to, you know, stick them with the window spots because I don't need anybody coming for me because I took their window away. Um, there we go. So that's how we're going to do it. Um, and then from there, kind of be a free for all. You know, we'll probably have to do some sort of seniority system or something. You know, those that have been there longest will get the pick. Those who, oh yes, yes our pandemic, pandemic help friends yes, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh i love that hopefully there won't be too much blood involved we'll make it work yeah i'll be in the middle of that one so fingers crossed for myself yeah any other comments questions thank you for coming okay well, right. if you have any other questions, I'm here. Frederick, Jeff, Alberto, everyone is here. Um, we're, you know, the space is not is mostly for y'all. It's, it's not even about us. If y'all weren't here, we wouldn't, you know, be having the space. So we appreciate you immensely. Um, and we are looking forward to this new chapter growing together. Oh, Mike has a question, just kidding. <laughs> Just trying to conclude. Yes. <clears throat> he has grievances. There's technically something that we're not supposed to say that we can access. It's like a, it's like a, uh, it's, it's a little a, fire, escape it's a fire escape stairway. Not, not necessarily. I could put a yeah. tiny little charcoal grill out there. Fend for my life. <laughs> so uh, the question is, can we go outdoors for stress relief? And it's a very low rail. I don't want anybody, you know, like being too stressed out. <laughs> we will put that in our liability form and have everyone sign yeah, new liability form. So we're not. Fire escape. 
collectively, the landlord told us that their people that are upstairs, they have put out a grill, which we allow them to do. I thought if they're doing that and they're doing perfectly, why would So then I thought about all these things like the like certainly like a trap that is all so essentially, Alberto is trying to put some turf so, down so is that, and really um, make it a little barbecue station. Yeah. Um, so I think he is the head of that barbecue station. I will not be fending for my life. So there is a, a tenant upstairs. A tenant upstairs is a radio station, and they have used the outdoor fire escape. Not with permission, you know, but they kind of look the other way. So it's an option. We'll, we'll, we'll see. It's always an option. Yes, all the windows yes. do open, so we can have some cross breeze, which will be very nice, especially in the uh, warmer weather. Yeah, they're very large windows that open. They kind of tilt. Yeah, tilt I was, in. and we're gonna have just we're gonna have more natural sunlight at least in this new space because we have three sides of it are windows. Yeah. Yep. So talk about natural light. We, I mean, it's not like we're getting that much natural light. I feel like I'm in a snow globe. Well, maybe we'll feel like we're more. Well, in a we snow won't globe. get um, reflection off the building next door. You know, at that is three p.m. True. that melts my face off because the sun is <laughs> reflecting off of it. So we won't have that anymore. That'll be nice. Okay. The floors are beautifully even. Like no uneven flooring. Yes. Yes. They're concrete. They're even. Uh, our bookshelf won't look like this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's 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 definitely it's quieter because it's all solid concrete. It'll be the temperature will be probably more even like in the conference rooms here. It can be a cold out there or warm in here, whatever. Uh, it'll be all one nice system we can control ourselves. So it'll be just a big, big difference from what we have here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anything else going once going twice. <laughs> Mike Bob, go away. Uh, okay, well, thank you everyone for taking the time out of your day. We really appreciate y'all. Um, I will, yes, I will send, um, honestly, I will send the PowerPoint. I will send notes um, and any other information that I can think of. I will send it your way um, for sure by tomorrow morning, most likely this afternoon, let's be honest. Um, so yeah, thank you very much. Have a great rest of your day. Stay safe. The roads are probably yeah. still crazy. Drive safe, everybody, please. Okay, love you. Bye. Bye. See you guys. My nice princess wife. <laughs>